www.huckabee.com and click on the Huckabee Report. Well, the Sunshine State is letting the sun shine in. My next guest helped implement a system that lets taxpayers know where every last dime of the state budget is being spent. And all you got to do is click on a website to see it. Please welcome Florida State Senator Mike Herodopoulos. Mike, good to have you here. Okay, thank you. I, uh, I met you through a very good mutual friend, Frank Samatalis, and one of the things that immediately became interesting, you, you were always looking for ways to find some innovations to make government more efficient. You and some of your colleagues in the Florida legislature came up with the idea of transparency. In a nutshell, explain it. Well, the key is we're the sunshine state. We've had spending in the shade. We need to open it up. And as you said, well, make sure that everyone can see how we spend their money. It's not our money. It's the people's money. And we, we have the technology. It's all available. We put a budget together on an Excel spreadsheet, put it out there for the people. They'll give us great ideas to improve our state government. Now, you can click on this transparently, transparencyflorida.gov. Correct. Because I've been on the website. And then you can navigate around and find out exactly where all the money of the Florida budget goes. I mean, you could ask, how much does this guy make who works in an agency? What contractor? Pretty much anything. Absolutely. Because, again, it's their money. We spend $66 billion in a year. We want to make sure they can click there and give us their ideas because this is a first step process. It's kind of like Transparency 1.0. We want to go to the next step, put contracts, state and local government on there as well. Because if we can do it in Florida, anybody can do it, especially Washington, D.C. Now, so far, you're the only state that's done anything quite like this. The president campaigned on the idea of transparency in government. You hear people in Congress saying, we need more transparency. You guys have it. Could this be imported to the federal budget? Could we see the federal budget like Florida residents can see yours? Absolutely. Just as you know, as a former governor, a state's just like a mini federal government. They have all the agencies. We can do it in Florida. We can do it anywhere. And it's the way to restore trust back in government by opening up our books. We're not perfect. Only one person has ever walked this earth who's perfect, mm -hmm. we know. But that said, let's make sure we open this up and give us those good ideas because we're the people who want to satisfy our customers, our voters. And they're going to give those ideas to us and we can bring them to Washington. Don't just talk. We have too much of that. Let's act. And that's exactly what we're doing in Florida. You know, one thing that's probably pretty amazing to most people when they look at a state budget is that states do, I always say there's three things states do, educate, medicate, incarcerate. Because if you look at the education budget, the Medicaid budget, and the prison budget, that eats up, in Arkansas, it was 91% of our state budget. In Florida, as I recall, it's, it's almost like 70-something percent or, or 80? Exactly. They drive our budget. Medicaid, as you spoke about earlier today, that's what drives our budget. It paralyzes our budget. And it's a one-size-fits-all model. Let's change it around. And one of the ideas we've already received from Transparency Florida is that people are giving us innovative ideas to reduce the Medicaid budget. If Washington, D.C. will only give us the opportunity to have the flexibility, like we did with welfare reform back in 1996. How much uh, pushback? did you get from bureaucracy people in the agency says we don't want everybody to know what we're doing was there pushback and, and how, <laughs> of course there was I, I know the answer to the question but I want you to go ahead and <laughs> well, well governor you're a smart man you broke the code and it wasn't just the agency heads but as the local governments as well a lot of the folks who had the good old boy system going the way you break it up is you shine a light on when you think about the sunshine when you open it up Good ideas prosper and grow. Bad ideas will wither and die in the sunshine. Mm -hmm. We want to open it up, and we'll make some mistakes. I agree. But let's give the benefit of the doubt to the taxpayer and make sure they see how we spend the money, and that's how we make improvements in government. Now, the, the site is up and running. People can go to it if they want to take a look. But what are you doing to develop and make it even more user-friendly, more navigable? Well, I think just every day we get emails in, hey, how about this? I had trouble finding that. That's how we make the improvements. And as I move into the Senate presidency next year, it will be one of my number one goals, how we open up the system for the people who afford it to make the changes. Because we save money there. Then we can spend more money on schools, on health care, more importantly, maybe give some tax relief because we need to get this economy going. All I care about, job creation, this is one way to do it. One thing that would be very evident is that if the federal government is not interested, there are 49 other states that certainly could be. Uh, that could use the same kind of program to bring a transparency. Have you had other state legislators, uh, maybe even members of Congress, say, we're interested in looking at this? They sure have, and that's, that's the direction we want. It. We want to be the state of innovation and sunshine. We're seeing states like Texas, even New York State, given their budget problems, New Jersey, they're all looking at this. How do we do it better? And how do we contrast ourselves from Washington, D.C., from the rhetoric versus the action we're taking in Florida? We're almost out of time, but I've got to ask you, is there, can you give me an example? When people look at this, has it resulted in somebody saying, uh-oh, we've got to make some changes in the way we budget? Are people going to see savings 
and efficiency as a result of this? Absolutely. We have one group called DMS. That's the group that basically buy land for us and make sure we have agencies set up. We really put them under the microscope. We were paying too much to rent property to make government agencies work, and we've seen that change already. That will result in big savings so we can put their money where it really matters, not in the bureaucracy. And, and you had some, some criticism that this is a costly thing to implement because it takes several million dollars to create the website, feed the information into it. Still getting the criticism, or is that beginning to wane away? Well, there's always going to be critics, and you want to make a change. But this is a positive change for the better. And it's again, it's sunshine. And this is what the president campaign on. All we're asking to do is match the rhetoric. Much like in my era, the Space Coast, match the rhetoric on the space industry, save those jobs. Same thing here. We'll save money and put the money where it really counts, improving people's lives or giving some tax relief. Senator Mike Herodopoulos from Florida, and I want to say thank you for not only what you're doing in Florida, I hope the rest of the country will get it. I hope the rest of the country will start thinking about efficiency can happen. Starts with a little sunshine. Thank you very much for the uh, insight into transparency and government. Oh,